is up guys? Welcome back to I'm So Craigie. I just did a week in Pamplona. Let's get that closed. For the San Fermines festival. It was awesome guys. And right now I'm just leaving Pamplona. I'm driving to Barcelona. Actually I'm driving to Sitges, which is basically considered to be part of Barcelona. On the way into Barcelona guys, there is a toll road, but it's only a couple of euros, so there's no real reason to avoid it. Sitges is about 15 minutes outside of central Barcelona by public transport. Barcelona is really expensive for parking and Sitges seems to have some free parking spaces. Always read the comment section before you park your car there. Check if it's notorious for car thieves. This place I'm going to now isn't. More on the place where I'm going to park my car and more on how to get to Barcelona from there in a minute guys. sat next to the sea in Sitges. This is probably about 15 minutes outside of Barcelona by train. If you want a beach holiday in Barcelona, a relaxed beach holiday with nice beachfront restaurants and beautiful water, this is probably the place you want to come to. Fly into Barcelona, come straight here. If you're driving through Sitges, they have showers on the beach that you can use and then toilet facilities, you know, just go or just sneak into, sneak into a restaurant. That's what I've been doing. Anyway guys, stay tuned and I'll be showing you guys how to get to Barcelona. Where I parked had flat level ground. It was about a five minute walk from the beach and it was right next to a carry for supermarket. Super convenient. If you're lucky enough and you're not in a motorhome, you might be able to get one of the parking spaces up on the road there. I think they were free. That's where I parked for two nights. Conveniently enough, this place is only a 10 minute walk from the train station. Don't, don't. I don't Barcelona, PG. Barcelona, baby. In case you missed it, guys, the ticket cost four euro sixty. The train from Sitges to central Barcelona took about 30 minutes. It was a direct train with no changes, so it's nice and easy, guys. And the trains run regularly. While you're in Barcelona, do some exploring. It's a beautiful city. It's got some real nice beaches right next to the city. You can take the gondola up or hike up the mountain for some amazing city views. I didn't do this, guys, because I was only there for a few hours. Don't forget to try out some authentic Spanish cuisine while you're there. Well, I had an awesome couple of days exploring Sitges, which I'm not saying it right, Sitges and Barcelona. It was awesome. I just got out of the sea. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon and now I've got a four hour drive to 
Valencia. We're going to be spending tonight, tomorrow, maybe tomorrow night too. to Valencia, been driving for hours. First impression, it's run down. It seems like a really run down place. A little bit of a dive. Coastline's gorgeous though, I will say. Like, yeah, some restaurants and all, nice beach and all so. But I'm saying that off driving through the city for 10 minutes, okay? So I haven't actually, you know, gone walking in the sea. It's just from what I've seen, the area that I drove through might have been a bad area. They found a camp spot with loads of other camper vans here, right next to the beach. This place is dodgy. Driving just two streets over, I drove past a guy breaking into a car. He wasn't being discreet. He was just going for it, breaking into this car. Right there as I drive past him, so, so yeah, that's Valencia. I think I'm only gonna stay here for one night in this spot. We're gonna mix it up a little bit today for dinner. I'm having noodles and noodles, chicken and beef combination with some tuna, because that's how I roll. Mmm. See, the trick is to get it all in there, brine and all. Good morning, guys. Well, let's turn that off before I get a copyright infringement. I'm fucking boiling hot every single day, guys. Every single day. I mean, it's a given. It's Spain, but wow. Yeah, so we are going waterfall hunting today. I can't wait. Hopefully, it's going to be a good day. In case you can't tell by my face, I'm already sweating, and it's like 10 o'clock in the morning, so I need to cool down. <laughs> it's going to be wicked, guys. Let's do it. Guys, in terms of parking, if you're in like a giant motorhome or something, you might have some trouble parking up here. There's no parking spaces. Look at that background though. Look at that. But yeah, if you're in a camper van, or if there's a big group of you, you might have a bit more of a problem. So you'll come driving down this road, along here. If you climb this fence, down here, you've got yourself a little pool. I know this isn't the main attraction, but I'm boiling hot and I need to cool down before I go hiking to this waterfall. Look like at this cool little cave I just found. I love exploring. Alright guys, so once you drove down this road, the waterfall will be to the left. Find somewhere to park. I've parked here. You'll see this old ruins of a house. Walk past this, and you want to be taking this track. It's not signposted, guys. This track down here. Alright. See where I'm stood? I could be the best thing in your life. When you get to this park, guys, with the old house, don't go this way. Go this way. 
Although this, this looks pretty cool. I'm inside a house, but I'm also inside a jungle. Weird. I could be the best thing in your life. To find old house number two just around the corner guys just over here it is pool number one well, I'm not satisfied with pool number one guys let's go find the big one When you get to this part, guys, you'll want to go right. You got me singing. When you get to these stepping stones here, guys, you will have to follow the screen down and walk through there. It's not very deep. By here it goes about knee deep, that's it. You walk through and take a hard right and follow it that way. And then, you want to keep walking. Up here. Once you walk from there, enjoy the view of the smaller lake, but this time, from the other side. And then keep walking this way. Keep following the path. Then when you get here, to this opening, your prize awaits you. This way. Oh my God. Guys, it was a bit of a hike. You have to do some climbing and all that shit. But I tell you what, if you get here on a good day and you're lucky like me, you have this entire place to yourself. You know what that means. Get it! This place is amazing. And I've got it all to myself. There's not another soul in sight. It's 38 degrees today here in Valencia. 38. Thank you so much for watching my video, as always. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you like my content. But in the meantime, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Take a drive, take a drive